Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you Wednesday, February the 19th. The year's 2020. Let's talk trading. Overcoming beliefs. Sometimes it's impossible to do. I mean, people, if you walked up to 100 people and you said, um, everybody who's closed-minded, raise your hand, you're not going to get anybody to raise their hand. Everybody thinks they're open-minded. But, you see, as I've stated before, if you want a better answer, then you should ask better questions, you know, from uh, uh, Tony Hopkins, right? He says that. So the question isn't, whether or not you're closed-minded the question is the question to ask is you first find out something that they believe in strongly i mean you know maybe they're pro-life maybe they're pro-choice and they really believe in it and then you ask them is there anything that can change your mind and if their answer is no <laughs> they're closed-minded because unless you are willing to change your mind you're closed-minded it's that simple so if somebody could point to evidence and facts contrary to something that I believe in or I feel is the way it is, then I'm going to change. <laughs> because to me, it wouldn't be logical to do otherwise. <laughs> it would just be stupid. I mean, if you know better but do anyway, that's being stupid. You know, the first time you burn your hand on the hot stove, that's because you were ignorant. You didn't know it was hot. The second time, that's stupidity. So you might laugh at that example, but, but that's just what happens. So when it comes to trading, if you've read any of the standard books that are talked about, if you've gone through you know most of the trading forums, like if you're in Forex, oh, everybody tells you, oh, you're a beginner, go to baby pips, and you read their stuff, you're going to come away, you're, you will have learned, you will have been taught. And so after a while, you, you, you're going to believe what you were taught. But then if somebody else comes along and says, no, 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 depending on how strong your belief is, you may or may not accept the new evidence and facts, or you, and sometimes you go, oh, no, no, this is baby pips, they have to be right. So... I mean, that's just, that's just how some people are. And what I've learned is, is that focus on your own beliefs, check your own beliefs. Don't worry about what other people are believing or thinking or telling you. No, just check your own beliefs, check it against facts and see if whether or not you'd be willing to change. But, you know, if somebody could point out to me why risk management isn't necessary. I'm telling you that I'll listen, but it's going to be real tough. They're going to have to have some really compelling evidence to show me why risk management isn't important in trading, because I don't know about you, but I don't want to lose any more on any one particular trade than I'm willing to lose because that's my risk. And you see, sometimes people can confuse uh, risk with the dollar amount. I remember back in the days when Google was about, oh, six hundred dollars a share and I was swinging a thousand shares at a time. That was six million dollars worth of stock. Um, I think it was, yeah, I think it was sick. Yeah. Anyway, um, somebody made the comment, I'm not going to risk six million dollars to make a hundred bucks. And I go, you're not risking six million. You know, they, they just didn't have any clue. It's like, hey, you know what? If I buy a thousand shares of Google and it moves a dime, I make a hundred bucks, you know, you know, knowing the statistics, knowing, you know, fading gaps and knowing things like that, it was almost like they were just handing me hundred dollar bills. So it was no big deal to, to you know, run a thousand shares of Google at a time. And it, 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 I didn't even blink at it. 
you know, other people's like, oh, that's $6 million worth of stock. It's just like, who cares? I'm only going to be in it for a few seconds or a few minutes. But anyway, you know, boys and girls, fellow traders, these videos are for educational purposes only. And your results may differ from mine. And you have to keep in mind that trading is very risky. You could lose all your money. So if you're seeking trading advice, financial advice, investment advice, seek it from an accredited financial professional. You know, those people that have certificates on the wall that show that they're an accredited financial professional. That way, if you take their advice and you lose your money, you know you took the advice of an accredited financial professional rather than some guy with a funny name who posts YouTube videos or you read something on Facebook or Google or wherever you heard something. Okay, on with the show. Weekly chart, all gaps have filled. It's FOMC day, which should happen in about, oh, 55 minutes. Get the announcement. Already, though, we've got an unbelievable range here, 166 pips on dollar yen. It broke out of the previous week's high. It's up 111 pips. Once again, one of those simple, simple horizontal line trades. Remember over here, remember I said this gap? Remember when um, we were, I think, here? And then we had a little gap here. And I said, you know, we're going to fade that gap. And it filled. I said, but there's still a gap over here. Well, look what happened, boys and girls. We filled that gap. Now, I don't know if any of you waited that long or if you were trading in and out. But um, it, th there, there it was. Nature abhors a vacuum. And price charts don't like vacuums either, usually. And here on the daily, big one, putting in a new yearly high. 253 pips above the yearly open. Six pips off of that high. Okay, looking here. Once again, we shot out of the opening range for the first day of first trading day of the week 129 pips above it right now once again a very simple horizontal line trade you know no thinking required it, there it is boom right as john madden used to say on the hourly look at this just green candles in a row the monthly range is now 300 the average is 292 so we've exceeded that range here, that inside bar from three days ago, breaking out of that range, up 134 pips. I show you these things every day. Um, I guess some of you guys, traders, believe it and do it. And some of you don't believe it and you don't do it. You know, but the proof is in, the, this happens every day, repetition over and over that's what good trading is that's what profitable trading is repetition doing the same thing over and over again and having profitable results but just remember boys and girls <laughs> educational only purposes one two three four five six seven eight nine ten pairs over 100 pips of range so far with the euro yen clocking in at 157, dollar yen 147. Here we went right through the monthly D1 highest open. Now we're putting in the yearly H1 highest open here, looking for a reversal off of that. We did not take out the pivot. We're 143 pips away. It looks like this pivot's going to be a missed pivot for a while. Um, looking at the pound New Zealand, the beast, but we can switch back over to dollar yen because there's plenty of room. So red rats, get ready. I don't know what's going to happen with the FOMC, but if it happens to go south, it's time for the red rats to feast get some cheese uh we're at ridiculous levels here past um the weekly r4 heading towards the monthly r2 i mean we, usually we don't see these kind of levels 
missed pivot uh so far 144 pips of a miss and here on the weekly now you see here there's a missed pivot right here we almost took it out we just might take it out this week we'll just have to wait and see what happens with FOMC but these weekly pivots as you can see they don't happen that frequently I mean there was a decade here with no missed pivots you know a whole year what 17 and 18 no p missed pivots and we're getting ready almost to take out the one in 19 so Sometimes it takes a while, but these pivots seem to get taken out. Don't you just love price action? It opens between these two lines. It doesn't stay between these two lines. Opens, doesn't stay, opens doesn't stay opens doesn't stay you hear here it, it stayed right there there's just no motion and finally boom and look what happened once again simple horizontal line trades h1 candle opens between these two lines 10 pips apart sooner or later it's going to exit one way the other or sometimes both but it's not staying it's not going to stay between those two lines. Wick zone, <laughs> just straight through it. Just straight, straight, straight through it. Once again, looking at horizontal lines for the previous day, week, and month, it just crossed them all. So those of you who like to add in or scale in i mean there you have it you could just stack on and so here rather than just have the profit from one now you have the profit from two now you have the profit from three does it always happen that way of course not just showing you how it works einstein line once again we see boom right to the top a little fake to the bottom here but on a day like today you have to be careful which way you're trading. You always do, but when you have a um, freight train steamroller moving like that, you don't want to stand in front of it. So if price is going up, the bulls are charging, you don't want to be heading south when the bulls are charging north. Not a good idea. And you can see here, we've had some movement. On the tick chart here, oh, we've got what about eight pips or so movement. Now, let's look at this weekly range of 166, average 118, daily range 147, average 41. So you can see um, it's really moved. It's actually gone through the upper ATR zone of the week and the day. It just went shot right past it. And every now that happens. Every now and then that happens. So, but you can see here, it came to the uh, open plus half, the min ATR. You took profit there, it reversed, and maybe you want to get back in on the crossover, or maybe you just ride it out. Because you see here, it already broke above the previous day's high. Here, breaking above the previous week's high. And price just is carrying on like a wayward sun. Definitely higher highs on the day, week, and the month. So, no inside bar for this day, week, or month. Look at all the lows that are going to need to be taken out for price, if, when price comes back. Those are places to look maybe to reverse or for price to uh, head south, looking for big candles where it might want to rest. And here you can see where the virgin wick zones are. Okay, fellow traders, 
It's not what you believe. It's not what you trade. It's how you trade it. Go out there and drain the banks.